This man right here is literally my mentor. You guys may know him as the man who has over 370 exotic animals in his home, literally in his backyard. He's hosted here every celebrity from Andrew Tate, Jackie Chan, Tyga, Lionel Messi, Steve Harvey, Mayweather, Logan Paul. Some people don't know about the Saif Al Hassa that I know, which is the billionaire businessman. He is one of Dubai's biggest and most successful entrepreneurs. According to the Forbes article that was written on him, he owns more than 50 businesses and more than 10,000 staff. I started without my father, without a brother, without anyone. No it was support. No one, no one support. Do you know how much it costs to maintain the zoo with all its facilities, everything per month? I'm Is spending for the farm. 250, 250 kilos yeah. every day. Every day. That's how, how much. Wow. Yeah. If there's no gold, we are in big shit. <laughs> like I said. Now, how old were you when you started? From uh, age of eight, I remember I was working with my father. I know a lot of people from the sheikh to the business people to the minister. Meeting Lionel you know, Messi. Messi is very good. You're already a billionaire, you know, whatever the money is. Then what's the drive for you now? Like, what's the reason that you're pushing this hard if it's not the money? What's your, like, for you, what is it? I heard that you once went to dinner with uh, Logan Paul and you paid for the full meal except the alcohol. How would you advise someone who has no money that wants to start a business right now. How is it meeting Andrew Tate? He's a very nice person. Will you ever open this zoo to public or no? No. Welcome back to the show and thank you for returning back to this channel. The podcast where we talk about business, advice, happiness and personal finance. Today's guest is extremely, extremely special. You guys know that in Dubai, I know many businessmen. I've interviewed many of them. I know plenty of businessmen. But this man right here is literally my mentor. You can ask anybody who's been in Dubai for a long time. They will know this man. The name, Saif Belhassa. Literally Dubai's biggest businessman, a mogul and one of like basically a serial entrepreneur like when we talk about there's a lot of people we've interviewed that come from let's say internet money or like you know they grew they grew their empires through social media through drop shipping e-commerce but when it comes to real business you know what i mean like actual industry actual um you know international branches a huge amount of staff there's only a few people in the game and mr saif balhasa has done so well it's absolutely an honor to be here today with you. And I, as I said in the beginning, out of all the guests I wanted to have on the podcast, you were somebody who I really, really wanted to get. I know you've supported me for a long time. For those of you who don't know, I used to sell uniforms back in the day. And uh, Mr. Saif used to buy them from me. And he's always been a supporter of mine. I used to try to bring sometimes famous people to his zoo to take them, to take them around. But anyways, I'm going to give a bit of a small intro. And then we'll start with the questions. Is this your first time doing a podcast? No, I made a lot of, uh, of course. Oshay, Sam, alaikum, good evening. Yes, uh, I made a lot, of course, uh, show. But always, as uh, I mentioned it before to you, as uh, always I'm trying to not to be in the social media much, but maybe because of the uh, my business, maybe because of the, the fame park, which is I have it, I have a lot of uh, guests that are coming. But that's why myself is more, out. Yeah, but always, as I mentioned it to you, I like to be in the low profile. Yeah, so I've seen a lot of you. I've I've seen a couple of interviews with some big um, news publications, but mostly like uh, like ten minutes. That's it, you know, like five ten minutes. You know, small few questions, and that's it. Honestly, I'm avoiding all of that <laughs> from long time. I'm avoiding, especially with the Corona. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. We are not in the mood normally, uh, or honestly, not to be uh, in the social media. Yeah. But. Uh, that's yeah. why I accept your invitation today, only just for my support to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. No, there's a lot of people out there who are like my age, and there's so much that they can learn from someone like you. And that's why I wanted to come here. And pe everybody knows you as, you know, the person who has all the celebrities wanting to come to visit you and visit your fame park, which is your private zoo in, in your backyard of your mansion. But some people don't know about the Saif Balhasa that I know, which is the serial entrepreneur, the billionaire businessman and who's reached ma a points that you know it's not normal like levels that from and i know your story you've come from like basically you started all your businesses yourself you know you guys may know him as the man who has over 370 exotic animals in his home literally in his backyard probably like 10 lions 10 tigers 10 giraffes 
crazy amounts of wild and exotic animals. He's hosted here every celebrity, movie star, YouTuber, music artist that you can think of. From Jackie Chan, Tyga, Paris Hilton, Salman Khan, Lionel Messi, Steve Harvey, Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul, and most recently Andrew Tate in his home and in his private zoo, which is now called Fame Park. When I say this is a massive house, guys, like I've been there. It is huge. They have one swimming pool that's just for alligators. Just for alligators. Is it alligators or crocodiles? No, there is alligator and there is a... Another yeah, one for yeah, crocodiles? Yeah, yeah, we have it. Yeah, we have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a big, it's yeah. a really big zoo. Like you need like just to go around the, around the zoo with a buggy, it takes you about an hour. So you can just imagine this place is massive. It's literally one of the coolest houses in the world. And it's the one place everybody in Dubai dreams to go. It has helped gain Mr. Safe 3 million followers on his Instagram. He's really a sensation in the Middle East. However, many people do not know who is the Mr. Safe Balhasa that I know. He is one of Dubai's biggest and most successful entrepreneurs, being the chairman of the company Safe Balhasa Holding, which has won the award for Dubai's most successful establishment in 2007, where he owns more than 50 businesses and more than 10,000 staff. According to the Forbes article that was written on him, and it is in fact true, businesses such as Belhasa Driving Center, Belhasa Labor Supply, Belhasa Recruitment Services, Belhasa Real Estate, Belhasa Stones and Concrete Flooring, many restaurant chains such as Chow King. I mean, the list is literally endless. I feel like he's the type of man, like if, if he's standing here and his car is like somewhere outside, Instead of like walking to go and get his car, he'll open like a valet company business on the spot. So that type of man, the amount of businesses you have. How, how many, more than 50 businesses? Alhamdulillah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, around, around that. All right, uh, so. Of course, I mean, uh, I am in the business more than uh, from 2001. Uh, as you mentioned, I start from zero. Uh, I started the first business was Bilhasa Dream Center in uh, October 13, 2001. And that it was as a challenge for me. And uh, I work honestly very hard. Uh, I was, I have to pay around 4 million to the, to the bank in that time. But uh, Why 4 million? Uh, because I was uh, working with my father during that time. And we agreed uh, uh, I have to leave the group. And uh, I start from zero. Uh, it was hard, honestly hard. Uh, now, maybe I'm little in peace. But uh, during all my... 20 years of my business, yes, it was very hard. But alhamdulillah, within, uh, uh, I think, a few uh, years, I become, which is, I don't want to talk about myself, but already, I mean, I, uh, because from long time, I'm well known. And yeah. as I'm working of with the, my father as a Belhasa group of companies, and uh, I work with them, I think, around 13 years. But that's why I start my own business. It's a challenge. Uh, not easy. Uh, but uh, alhamdulillah, the luck is with me, and uh, I was uh, you work very smart hard. enough, uh, 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 smart uh, enough, honestly, to 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 be and to compete with the big business people on the market. Nice. Alhamdulillah, amazing, I, I, yeah, mashallah. And uh, how old were you when you started? No, You're don't go on the age. The age, the age <laughs> which is, uh, uh, I was maybe, in, <laughs> I will. <laughs> this question, see, uh, always we're saying before we are saying the ladies, you don't. Like somebody to ask about her age. <laughs> now we uh, and the man he don't like to be asked how much he is in his pocket. His pocket. Now we saying we don't like somebody to ask us about how much we have in our pocket. In the same time, what's your age? What's your age? Yeah. <laughs> but, alhamdulillah, uh, as we know, but the age is number. You're very young. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, younger exactly. Very young. Sat, yeah, yeah. And um, I think um, your dad owns um, Emirates Driving Institute. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That right. belonged to the group, and I was uh, with my father during that time. I am the one which is I started Emirate Driving School in ninety uh, one, uh, first June ninety one. It was a big challenge uh, to start. That's as a first driving school to start in uh, in UAE. Honestly, the after the police, school dri- yeah, after United the Arab police Arab driving uh, center belonged to Dubai. But it was a big challenge. It was uh, I think the the war in Iraq also on that during that time. It was a big challenge, honestly. Not easy, but I was, uh, I was, uh, I believe in myself. And uh, I like the challenge. Yeah. And this is how I am. Yeah. But that's why if you uh, don't like to be challenged or you don't like the competition, you don't, uh, I mean, that 
it have to be the, from the person from inside. Yeah. yeah that, I think I have that thing in me. You have it? Yeah. You I think you it. were, was that, was that drive I, and like that, I don't know, kind of determination that you're talking about, was that something that you feel like you were born with? Or did you I have think, to work I, on no, it? No, no. See, it, experiences help. Okay. Uh, was born with a person. Uh, I don't believe there is something which is you can't do it. No, I believe in myself, and I have to do what I can do, and uh, work hard. Uh, a lot of things respect the people. Uh, uh, work as a team. Work a lot of things we 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 did with the, my uh, team, which is I have. Mm. Uh, if you look to the uh, uh, most of the stuff which is I have, they are with me. Uh, now it's 20 years I, we finished or 21 years it's 20 years they are with me uh, and I uh, the bad thing in me when somebody won't leave me uh, because he's sick or out but uh, I can't stop the people of course yeah, but uh, I, f I feel uh, the people who should are working with me they are working as a family with me yeah I so agree because I, I know some of these people you know no. I know Naima. you are you got your driving license I remember before. I got my you, driving license your months safe, yeah and safe for also driving yeah, yeah. and this is your driving school anytime you can uh, come so uh, for much. the heavy trucks for the shovel for the motorcycle we are there <laughs> thank you so much yeah. it was an amazing experience mm -hmm. seamless you know they have everything online everything is easy from the beginning it's really easy to start and they have the best service you know there's a lot of driving centers and we don't need to talk about them but when you want like good service you know and you want to make sure that you're not being like necessarily cheated or you know good value for your money safe for house driving center but i want to ask you like um i know some of your staff they've been with you so long and in fact i even spoke one time to one of your staff and he told me that you actually even paid for his university tuition And he, I told him, like, uh, he's like, why? He's like, I don't know. He was just friends with, I was friends with his children. And he said, okay, I'm going to pay for university education. That I cannot talk, it, uh, talk about it because, I mean, everyone, he have um, something to do. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, we're not yeah, mentioning yeah, his name. Yeah, but yeah. I, no, no, I'm saying, you know, uh, everyone, uh, not me, me, a lot of business people also, we take caring about the uh, Uh, number of people for I mean that's, you treat them like family yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah yeah it's very nice yeah. and I heard in the driving center in the yeah. early days yeah. you were the one who used to hand out to every single man who passed their driving lesson exactly you used to go there and give them the driving license in the hand the yeah. owner himself Saif Al Hasa would go there every bus driver every whoever whoever just got their license he would go there himself and personally hand the driver in his hand the license and he said it was that joy for him and he spoke about this in an article that now a guy who was let's say making 4000 dirhams as like a waiter or 5000 could now make 7000 or 8000 as let's say a more uh, a job which which requires a license yeah what i'm saying always uh, uh, normally the person he have his salary as example he's a worker and his salary is 800 dirhams yeah. Uh, after he got the driving license, he will get a salary of 1,200. If you go for the uh, bus, uh, he will go for the 1,800. Yeah. Heavy bus, he will go 2,800. Yeah. And this is the way. If you go for the uh, shovel, if you go for the motorcycle, a lot of things. Yeah. But I feel I am opening a door for him. But that's why my happiness uh, and his happiness, I want to feel and I want to see how he is happy. That's very important. That's and beautiful. I feel I have, uh, I, mean, I feel happy when I, uh, uh, I change the life of this person which is in front of me. Amazing. Yeah. But yeah, so as Mr. Safe said, I don't want to move on to this part too soon. But guys, just imagine at Safe's young age, starting the first driving center in the UAE after the government one, of course. And then not only that, but then leaving that company and starting it again. And not only that, but even doing better than that original company like this is something that we can't comprehend and i don't know how you did this how you could leave one company you know with all its support and all its everything you have built right and everything like your family had had like worked with you on and you said i'm gonna do this now all alone at your young age and i'm gonna do it all myself and i'm gonna like just build something that crazy it's it's insane i don't it think was it was not easy yeah it was not easy to take that challenge honestly is not easy Uh, there People is a risk. I thought you were crazy. Yeah, uh, no risk, one some kind of risk. Uh, when I was, I remember working with my father. As uh, yes, I was vice uh, vice chairman of uh, the group, and I was handling all the groups. 
And uh, of course, I was very close to my father during uh, that time, uh, learning a lot of things from him. Yeah. Uh, he is my master. Uh, he is the person which has taught me a lot of things, honestly, to, to do. And uh, I learned. Uh, I think without uh, the experience which is I got it from uh, my father, because I am close to him, and I like to learn, not only just, I'm the person which is, I like to go with my father, not the one which is my father who will tell me, please, please come. come. No. I'm the I person before Haq, you get me, I am in Haq. But that's why this is the difference. Yeah. Now, if you look to the, our children now, you'll ask them, uh, please, can you come? Adak, he said, no, I, am, I have the, some work. Yeah, they give right. some different clues. I was they not uh, uh, Yeah, I was not leaving this opportunity to learn because he is in the, as a name, when known as uh, my father, and he is going different track. And from, because I'm close to him, uh, that's why I learn, I mean, a lot of things, and I know a lot of people, and uh, from the sheikh to the business people to the minister, and then that's why, uh, that's helped me also in my uh, in my business when I start uh, mm. alone, yeah, of course. Yeah. I was, يعني, I started without, without my father, without a brother, without anyone. It no was support. No one, no one support. I did it. But uh, that's I'm, good, I I'm proud of myself. You should that's, be. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of myself. I did it. I'm not telling the, the, the people, no, leave and work alone. No, you have to learn something. If you yeah. are, you have to be with your father and you have, without asking you to come, you have to go to him and be with him and learn. Because always the experience is, is help. And this... Uh, the people which is elder than you, they, they, they know a lot of things. And uh, uh, always I believe in contact. If you have contact, you can do anything. And this is which is I'm teaching always my children also. Uh, contact is important. But that's why we're safe is here because of my contact, which is I have it, which is what I learned. That's why he helped me. Yeah. But that's why when I start, I didn't start only just Bil Hassad Driving Center. No, many business. I start different line of business because when I was also with the... My father group. I was. I start different companies by myself for the group, and when I left, I start also a different line of companies with the, uh, under my uh, uh, yeah exactly. So this is what I'm, I'm doing. So I feel proud now. It need myself. I have to relax, but I'm saying always. Uh, maybe I achieve fifty percent. Still fifty percent is there. What? <laughs> yeah, this is always before wow. I was saying seventy person is left for me, but I'm saying no. I accept now fifty person is left for me, but that's why a lot of work. Fifty yeah. yeah, percent, But that's why if you, yeah, uh, if you sitting, if you sitting in the in the house going, at the moment until this time, no, I am eight o'clock. I will be in the office. This yeah. is what I before eight. I like, but that's why sometime of my staff or my manager said, we want you one day to come late. <laughs> To give us excuse, we can come late, but I'm not giving. <laughs> as, at the moment, them. Friday, as at the moment, uh, that's what I'm telling the, to my uh, uh, manager office. Uh, she asked me, uh, why are you coming on Friday? Relax. Relax. I said, no, because if I didn't come by this way, I will give excuse for all of you to take half a day in yeah. that day. If I have to come <laughs> early morning know, Friday. Yeah. But that's why, I mean, uh, be a good example for yourself. Uh, I think uh, you will get all the people. Uh, yeah. If they, they see, would same, yeah. yeah, I guess you're right, hundred yeah. percent. If they see the effort that you're putting in, and the amount of dedication that you have, like they're gonna follow your footsteps. But you can't expect them to work harder than you. If you're sitting at home, you can't expect them to be working as hard. You know, no, no, but it's not their business, anyways. So you. Have I will to tell you. I will tell you example. Yeah. Today, Please. that's what's happened today. Uh, the one which is in front of you. Okay. I had a, a meeting call at, at eleven o'clock. I remember yeah. yesterday night. 11 p.m. Uh, yeah. Uh, it took me, I think, one hour that talk. After that, my mind is busy. What I is that call about, sorry? Huh? What is that call Business. About? It was business. Uh, it was business and uh, decision and a lot of things. And uh, I kept, uh, I think I slept at 4.15, if I remember. 4.15. Morning? Yeah. And I got up at uh, 5.30. Fajr. For uh, hockey, and I prayed, and prayed. again I slept until uh, eight forty-five. Wow! Because nine thirty, I have a meeting in the side, which is uh, like, uh, uh, if you uh, see, it, maybe I didn't sleep much, maybe four hours at that. But yeah. in the end, no, I cannot say I cannot go to the meeting, and uh, 
because I have uh, you can't yeah, I don't, no I don't it. give excuse to myself but this is how I am yeah but if the person he do what I'm doing of course he will be something in his life and yeah I'm very sure if you if you put in those yeah. amount of hours because if you give excuse to yourself okay I'm tired I didn't go no it becomes every yeah, day yeah yeah but for me I don't give I, no, I never. punish myself this is my way you but, punish yeah, yourself. I punish myself I don't how does that work that's work well that's why we no, like like uh, uh, what's a punishment like you tell punishment yourself, like, no meaning i didn't sleep proper but when the punishment. alarm is there i have to get up yeah. meaning you you you, you, you cannot yeah. go and sleep again or no, something no i no. your time is like you have no to negotiation be. no <laughs> no but this is how you if you teach yourself always you have to be in front you will be in front and this is the see look to the sheikh muhammad mashallah uh, يعني, our ruler yeah yeah he is mashallah يعني, he like to be number one yeah but he don't accept us to be number two yeah but that's why always we have to be under big pressure we have also to be number one but that's why some kind of challenge but do you we, feel like you're already number one like in your field I can say yeah. yeah yeah you know what I mean yeah. now I don't know uh, if I can say this but I think you're expanding to other countries as well in uh, Egypt I think in Egypt exactly in Egypt inshallah uh, January February inshallah will uh, wow. yeah yeah so which and is we're starting countries? with around 15 uh, driving center together wow yeah. 15 yeah, in yeah, Egypt together yeah but that's I why. think it's probably one of the only driving centers to be not only in two different countries but in two different continents so, guys, yeah, because that's Africa and this is Middle East. So, this is like big news. Alhamdulillah, you know? alhamdulillah. Yeah. This is one of the business, which is, I don't know, I <laughs> want much talk because the people they're saying, uh, like, there is a logo in my head. The people, when they see safe, but also they said, is the Rahing Center, which is always, I'm saying, I have different <laughs> business. <laughs> yeah. like, but we'll still, the people, they go, yeah, because I'm the one which is I started. Yeah. But that's why the people... Uh, how much I did, but still, you are <laughs> driving, driving something. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but that's important. Yeah, that's, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, we because I'm helping a lot of people uh, there. For, of I feel as, uh, uh, and I like, because with the person you have, this is some kind of service. Service meaning you have to be happy to receive the people. Yeah. And you have to be not the person which is, you have to smile and accept the problem and solve their yeah. problem. But uh, if the person is not in that way, you know, better not to be in this business because always you get complain, you get somebody need help. Of course, I have stuff. I'm not the person at the moment uh, solving the problem. But sometime if there is any uh, problem, يعني, they get me, I'm there. Mm. But I have, alhamdulillah, experience and stuff. They are my asset, which is uh, they are helping me to run the daily, uh, the, the daily, daily business. business. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. So then I want to ask... Um, now that you say you you know you're the best driving center um in the middle east and um you're doing so well in life and you say as you just said right now which is what i wanted to ask actually you say that you're only 50 percent, so you have like another 50 percent. you're only halfway according to your eyes somehow so i understand i know for, for a fact because some people might be watching this they might think like is it the money that's driving him and i know for a fact like you know it's not about the money for you you know you're already a billionaire and you know whatever the money is so then what's the drive for you now like what's the reason that you're pushing this hard if it's not the money what's your like for you what is it see always i want to be unique mm. always i want to start some another business which is unique business yeah which is nobody have it yeah and bring it to this market or international market yeah but this is which is as this inside of me always i want to come with something new yeah but of course uh the driving center is one side, the, another business I have one side, but I'm coming with a, something new. I'm trying to work. I'm not saying I have it, but I'm saying I have to come with something new. But what uh, drives you? Like, wh- wh- why? Why do you have to come with something new? Inside of you. you I mean, that's built as I told you, it's built inside of me. But I like to, to work. As I told you yesterday, I have a meeting at 11, I finished 12, but I didn't sleep because I start to check in the Google about what I was talking ah, about, discuss, research about like, because Thinking. today I have to take the uh, meeting. meeting. And the evening after I leave the studio, I have... Tonight? To, yeah, yeah. After I finish, I walk. Oh at my night, God. Yeah. But, I have to, yeah, but I have to talk from here to reach home. And wow. but this is the way, you know. I mean, that's why the business, see, the businessman always, he have to work. Yeah. Yeah. If you want a relaxed life, be stuff in the company <laughs> or in the ministry or something or any. Anyway, and Choose relax. An yeah, yeah, that's okay. You get salary in the end of the. Be happy. Yeah, be happy. But we are no. I never work as a staff. I never work as in the government. No, I start direct when I start with my father in the business. And yeah. I am from the hustler. Exactly. That's why from 
uh, age of eight, I remember I was working with my father. Eight, eight years eight, old. Yeah, I remember eight. I was working <laughs> when the school is closed. During the three, four months, no, I am with next to my father. Summer. And he was, I remember, in the Ministry of Finance, and he was uh, director of the uh, purchase department. The wow. purchase department of the ministry is something not easy. Very but that's why he go there. But I was working, taking the, I remember he's the head of the, the, that department. He have to sign. I have to take by, my, uh, by myself the paper, which he signed it and pass it to the different uh, person. No way. Yeah. But this is the experience, like which is in the age. Yeah, exactly. Age of the uh, eight. When you start but, eight, yeah. Exactly. yeah. But after that, when I reached 10, I start also working on other things, small business. Uh, At 10 years yeah, old? Yeah, with my father, yeah. I learn a lot of things. Wow. But that's why it keep you always, I mean, this is some kind of challenge, you know. Yeah. I, I can see a lot of, I mean, the new generations, they are not same. We're saying we are before the patrol, this is new generation after the patrol, which is big different. Yeah. They're different. Yeah. But <laughs> inshallah, true. God is with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mashallah. So yeah, that's that's something really interesting what you just said, and um, like about how you said like if you want an easy life, you know, do a nine to five job. <laughs> when the five p.m. comes, you clock out, don't think about work. And you know, I see people like this, and it's their life. They can choose. Right. They want a peaceful yeah, life. Exactly. Yeah. But some, and even sometimes, I wish I could be like that. Hmm. And I I feel like I have something in me that's kind of like you, where I feel like no, for me to be happy. I need to struggle, you know, I need like a grind. I need to like feel like have a huge goal and like have to like, you know what I mean? Fight, you know? See, you are from Dubai. Yeah. When you are from Dubai, you have to be unique. Dubai is unique. You yeah. have to be unique. Yeah. When you go outside, the people, they are looking to you. You are from Dubai. You are from UAE. That thing, that challenge is very, uh, that's why you have to be like the ambassador of your countries. Yeah. But that's why you have to work hard and always be unique. The people, they look to you, you are coming from UAE, meaning you are a different person. Exactly. But that's why always, but that's why. Yeah, different. here it's like, honestly, it's like New York nowadays. It's like the land of opportunities. Everyone's like fighting and not fighting, sorry. Everyone's like trying to improve themselves, right. improve their lives and build something. Everyone wants to be a, like a businessman yeah, yeah, yeah. and have like chase opportunities and. So See, in Dubai, you, you are mixed with a different nationality, different business people. You're learning everything. Dubai is center of the, the between the Far East and the Europe. And you can learn a lot. But that's why when I was small, I was mixed with a different nationality, mm. English. يعني the first business I remember I started after I got a graduate, my father he put Your me with a two English partner, two. <laughs> we lost them already. <laughs> they die. But yeah, British. They are a British language. And they are very difficult, but... And you were speaking Arabic with, at that time? Like you speak I know, English no, no, I know English also. Okay, yeah, it's not, so it's easy. Yeah, but... Uh, it's I different mean, yeah, it's difficult, but uh, they are in the age of, uh, I remember, 60, 70. And I am just uh, and in 20. But that's why I remember they was telling me, this is, is this, they are telling my father, safe is like police in us. <laughs> he said, okay, uh, police but what he did for the companies because i changed everything everything i yeah. did a lot so you of were things. 20 and they were 60. yeah <laughs> wow yeah it was uh, sm- but we and worked together i learned of course from them of after course, that yeah. when they understood who's safe what safe you want to act because you said okay this guy just a graduate and son of the the, the chairman of the companies but in the end no when we sat together walked together yeah brought the companies i remember was companies was not doing well and we made uh, I made their companies making a uh, bigger profit uh, that's why my father said safe meaning what was that yeah. business by the way if I can ask do you remember I remember it was Bill uh, Hassan Tony Pools it pools. was uh, yeah it was Bill Hassan Tony Pools which is working in that uh, like making uh, swimming pools and exactly. residential, residential houses business swimming pool uh, uh, landscaping uh, waterfall name it like, Lake, oh, okay, everything like water yeah. kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything yeah and it was number one Wow. I don't know in Iraq, but uh, when you were doing companies, it? yeah, it's number one in the in the in the market uh, in the GCC countries. I remember. Wow. But, but I, I, it was unique company. I mean, yeah. it was unique company. For, so but this is where I start. Hmm. With the, this is where I start after I got graduate. Yeah, as soon as you graduate. Yeah, yeah, graduate. I, my finished. father, I remember, he put me in that companies. 
But and it was violent, of course. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the way you learn. You know, you don't yeah, yeah. you don't learn how to swim by swimming in the shallow. Yeah, you exactly. learn in the deep end. No, no, deep. When when you exactly. if, you, if you don't if you don't swim, you'll die. Exactly. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You have to you have that. That, that's my father' policy. He put me in that. He said, "You deal with it. You'll figure it out." Yeah, yeah. But that's why Same also person. I remember when uh, the project of the driving school to start the driving school, uh, Emirate Driving School. Uh, I remember he told me, "See, this person is coming to you, your cousin." And he won't start the driving school. Yeah. Tata, as a partner with us, they was coming from uh, Qatar. Mm. I said, okay. Uh, he said, but I'm not interested in the transport. Yeah. Because in my life, during my life, before the petrol, only just transport. He said, I'm not. Uh, I don't have, uh, I don't want to spend my time again with that. Yeah. I said, that, leave it to me. But that's why I took it as a challenge. Nice. Uh, which is, uh, I work here, of course. Amazing. So, Let's talk about then, like right now at this point, you know, it's very good to hear about how you started and your early days. So right now then, let's talk about now. How many businesses do you own? Honestly, if you ask me, I would, like I have to count how many businesses. Okay. <laughs> But I covered the, most of the, the, the different Fields. lineups. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it exactly in the restaurant, I'm there. And the money exchange. And the uh, industry, like factory, different factory, factory I have. Real estate. Uh, real estate, I'm there. Cars. Cars, car rental, which is one of the biggest company, car rental, I work, alhamdulillah. Wow. Uh, driving school also. And the uh, car testing. I don't know, different. I, But I'm probably not, around uh, like 60, 70, maybe. Yeah, with the different, with the branches, yes, of course. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, like, let's say, for example, Belhasa Driving Center alone, your driving, your driving center, which you started from scratch by yourself. Um, how many branches does it have at the moment? In the United Arab Emirates, because I know now you have some coming in Egypt, but let's say in UAE alone. Around seven in UAE, yani we have around seven. Yeah. Seven, wow, nice. Yeah, but let's yeah. say if, if you can count all the offices, because I know there's many offices yeah, where people can get yeah. registration, it's a lot more. Yeah. But it's it's amazing. And um, some of the other businesses you own, um, which ones are you, have they all, have all your businesses, so we're talking about like 60, 70, Um, have they all been successes? Have they been er- any like losses or any time like maybe a certain business failed or didn't of go Of course, see, you start some b- business and uh, you study that, but the market change. As example, what's happened with the corona time is affect our business. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I uh, felt the business was not good. <laughs> But I don't want to say the name of the business, but yes, uh, always change. see, always you will jump in lo- sometime jump in some uh, loss of the, when you start any business, when you start business, but it's happened, but you learn. Hmm. And I learned from the, the whatever. It's part the of the journey. Material, of course. Nice, yeah. And let's talk about real estate then. So I know you're quite into real estate as well. Yeah. Um, you like to invest in real estate and like how many, like what type of properties do you own? I know I've seen some buildings, I've been driving past a random building in a random area and I see the SB logo at the bottom and I'm like, wow, this is another business I didn't know about. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you have yeah. a lot of buildings as well? Uh, yeah, of course. I have, alhamdulillah, a good number of buildings. In Dubai buildings. as well? In Dubai, yes, I have, alhamdulillah. Like, oh, okay. yeah. huh? I can't say it. But <laughs> I mean, I have a number of it. Yeah, tomorrow, of honestly, buildings. tomorrow I have uh, to sign for the new companies also. One new building? Uh, sorry, uh, new buildings. <laughs> yes. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I have a new building. Ten, yeah, 10 o'clock I have a uh, meeting to... Uh, <laughs> Finish it. But this normally, I mean, we, we reach Dubai, depending on the real estate, and we are all like, we have to put percentage of our business in the real estate. Yeah. Uh, but that's normal. That's normal. Yeah. Whatever, some percentage have to go for that. Nice, nice. So, all right. Wow, that's incredible. Um, let's talk about the zoo then. Okay. Um, the fame park. The fame park, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly yeah. So, world famous fame park. Will you ever open this zoo to public or no? No. <laughs> no, never. No, I, uh, see, this is, I want it to be unique, honestly. Unique, yeah. But that's why always I look to the unique thing. This is unique uh, brand and uh, zoo, which is I have it. For a lot of people, uh, you will ask me how you manage. Uh, let me to make it more easy. Sure. See, like as example, today, yeah. I will start from the morning. This is a day in the life of Sefer yeah, Exactly. I start from the morning until one o'clock. One o'clock, I reach the I reach home. I remember 1.45. See how I calculate. Two thirty, I have a guest. I had my lunch. I played before. I had my lunch, and immediately, I left. Who was the guest? 
Uh, I have uh, two guests, one from Senegal, they play the World Cup, oh, and one the from Cup. Swiss, which is he was in the World Cup also. Wow, two World Cup players. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was fun. Both of them, they lost. And we <laughs> was uh, uh, enjoying the, the, the talk. They came with their family. Yeah. But I spent time until six o'clock. Wow. Six o'clock, I left. No, 5.30, I left. I reach uh, yeah. within 15 minutes, my house close to the the, okay. the one. Immediately, I pray. I change, tuck. Come here. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, this is, a, I came minute, here huh? before, I think I came before the before time. Before me. 10 minutes, yeah. He about, came before me, yeah. Loki. Like, but this is my this is my way. Always on the yeah, time. I can't. I, some people are saying, no, always come late. No, I don't have this policy. No, my policy, I am like this. I born like this. I can't change it. Nice. Uh, you get me before the stuff. You get me before the... Uh, the first uh, one. Yeah, yeah. This if is, you want to be the first way. in business, you have to be the first one. This is the way. Yeah, yeah. the way. Nice, amazing. We have some people. No, they like to come to show himself. <laughs> I'm an important person. I have to come late, but not with safe. Amazing. No. I don't have that. Nice. Maybe. And everything is done by the minute, huh? For you. By the minute, yeah. Like I All feel right. like if now you'll go use the toilet, you'll cut like five from your next meeting five minutes, because <laughs> your yeah. your life is like this. Li- you know, my life is like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and crazy. always to be a good businessman, this is the way. Yeah, a lot of people they ask me how you come back. This is the way, or you don't be in the business. Take salary end of the month working uh, private companies and that's uh, or government. You have a lot of staff, like around ten thousand more than. Yeah, alhamdulillah, I have yeah. Like good, yeah. um. Do you know like how much it costs all the 10,000 staff at the top of your head? No, each of the staff, they are, uh, you know, they yeah. are working there. Each, each one is uh, Let's say working like that, uh, the company. most expensive staff you have. Do you know how much it is? No, I don't know. You don't know. have this. No, I don't no, know. No, wait, no, because wait. always, honestly, it's going to the uh, HR and the HR, they take they caring about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We uh, see the in the level of, I interview the people which is in the level of the manager. Okay. Manager, which is they will deal with me, legal advisor, yeah. uh, finance uh, uh, manager, you know, some manager for some important, I feel yeah. uh, that's this people, I interview them and I know their salary. But normal uh, staff, you don't uh, know. that's. HR, this. Uh, yeah, but you tell me, I'm signing their document. <laughs> if you want, tell me, when I was in the car, you told me I need 10 minutes, I went to the car. And I open my telephone and I sign. I have a signature, and I was approving the HR <laughs> appointing because I feel this guy, if I prove his paper today, meaning by tomorrow he will be in a job. Wow! But I feel I help. But that's why inside of me, it that's feels uh, good. my heart is a little soft. But that's why I bother uh, of the people. But that's what I'm doing. So, right now in this moment, would you say you're you're happy? I'm very happy. You're very happy. I'm very happy. And. How, how how why do you feel like you're happy? You know, there's a lot of people these days. Because I'm uh, no, because I'm achieving a lot of things. Yeah, it's good. Uh, you're proud of yourself. Yeah, I'm I'm proud of myself and I'm doing. And every day there is something good in my life. Nice. I can see it. Good news. Good thing. Uh, keep me happy always. I think this thing that you're saying that every day there's something good in my life, this is the reason why every day you find something good. Because if every day you think that I'm going to have something good today, you will find it. Because mm. you, your mind is looking for it. Exactly. But if you think like, no, every day is bad, there's nothing good that happened, yeah. even if something good will happen, you won't even think about always it. Always be positive. Don't yeah. be negative. Yeah. You're negative, you're in the negative for yourself. But always be happy and accept what's for you. And what if, what if, like, let's say something sad happens? How do you deal with it? I mean, it's not for me. I accept it always. Yeah. If there is something that didn't happen, and I challenge the people sometimes, okay, I mean, it was some talk, it was a uh, uh, meeting uh, in the afternoon in the car I was leaving. For, he was telling me, I said, okay, leave it. The project, no need for it. It's not for me, leave it. He said, no, 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 I don't mean, but I said, no, if it's not for me, I don't want it. <laughs> if there is any of uncomfortable uh, you feel against me or I feel against you, better leave it. He said, no, no, I don't mean. Well, you're but like, no, yeah, I, yeah, I told him, leave it. Because if, for me, it will come if yeah. you like it or you don't like it. Yeah. But the guy again, he said, no, 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 we don't, I don't mean that. He was trying to yeah. offer you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. He started, he said, no, no, no. He was trying to negotiate. Exactly. <laughs> but when he said, he, he doesn't said, know no, what yeah, dealing yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, not with me, with my experience. <laughs> with but I said, leave it. <laughs> Chapter close. I mean, leave it, and it's not. So, from what I understand, Safe, Mr. Safe was trying being pitched an opportunity, and the guy was like, 
I don't know if it's and Saif was like, all right, you know what, leave it. <laughs> and the guy's like, no, 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 please, please. <laughs> because that's important yeah. for me also. Be but ready to walk yeah, away from it. Yeah. Uh, important for me also, but I believe it's for me to come to me. Why yeah. I bother myself? Yeah. I did my best. Yeah. And still I'm doing my best. But if it's not for me, leave it. Yeah. I, I accept it. I tell him, leave it. I don't want it. Yeah. But I, again, he's forcing me. And I remember I was, I reached to the farm and the guests, they was out waiting for the uh, hyena. And I was inside and I was talking uh, to him. And I said, he said, no, 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 I don't mind. No, leave it. Uh, the evening, we'll talk, inshallah. I said, okay. <laughs> but anyway, right. but that's why if you, you believe uh, you work hard and uh, your risk or your uh, nasib, it will reach you wherever. That's my belief. Always, yeah. It will come to you. If you are in, you are sleeping, it will come to you. Yeah. If you are in your graveyard, it will come to you. Always I'm saying, also, if you are in your graveyard, it will come to you. Said how it will come. It will come to you, and it will come. You are in grave. It will come to your children. Wow. Not to you. But that's why, if you believe God's in that, plan. if you believe in that, you will always you'll be happy. Yeah. Mm. But of course, with that, it's all, it's about the hard work you do. So like God helps those which help themselves. Yeah. So like if you see work, the God, He didn't ask us to work very hard. Yeah. Work hard, but not to kill yourself. Mm. That's my belief. What's for you, you will get it. Yeah. God, he will give it to you. Whatever you want it, you don't like it, it will come to you. But you have to work. You cannot sleep and say it will come to me. No. No. It will be delay. Yeah. It's for you, but it will be delay. But better to work to get it fast. Yeah. But that's what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Better and than you, he will give it to you when you are in your grave. Yeah, you don't take it. Right? It will go to your children. <laughs> but better get it during no. your life. And uh, nice. you can enjoy that with your family. So you talk when you're talking about your daily day, day, day routine, you're stopping every time to talk about the prayer. Because obviously you as a Muslim and me as well, myself, we pray five times a day. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And how do you feel like the prayer impacts your life? Because obviously it's a fundamental That's give you confidence. Mm. Honestly, you give you confidence. Confidence. You are did your part with your God. And the, the, you leave the another thing to him. He will decide. What's for you, not for you. You did, and you feel comfortable. You did, you did your job. When you pray, do you feel like it's like a recharge? Like yeah, you feel like you, you go from your work and everything? And you, Allah, the day, you the day, if recharge. you didn't uh, pray the, the, the morning and the sun has come, that's bad day for me. Finish. That's very bad day. Meaning that's my life is the whatever is. you pray it again and ask the God. But that time. Yeah, you feel God is not happy. Mm. And you feel anything that's happened to you is uh, uh, negative. Is punishment. It? Yeah, <laughs> like punishment. But of course, God, he uh, accepts sometimes. Merciful, yeah, yeah. Sometimes happen, but uh, always, no. Yeah. That pray is something. Uh, yeah. Guys, yeah, this is the thing. Be, you, I don't think a lot of people wonder about Islam. And I tell, like, we, I ask them, have you ever met someone who is, who's a Muslim that talks about prayer as if it's something that's a burden for them? Like, think about it yourself. Have you ever met a Muslim who says, like, yeah, I pray five times a day, but man, I hate it, man. My five times, that my time goes. You'll always find that whoever does it and whoever is proud of it, and it's something that they're happy to do. So no one's forcing them. No one's forcing them, but it helps them. If, they, if it wasn't helping them in their day-to-day -day life, they would not continue to do it. You feel peace. You feel peace. You feel peace. peace but that's mind. why when you pray, you, you, you are solving the problem by yourself. Yeah. By itself, because God is with you. But when you are without God, like, or you are not praying, like you cut the connection between you and God. And you cut it. Part, yeah. If you cut it. You have no meaning, purpose in life. Yeah, yeah. You, go, you get, you, you get lost in this life. You're just waiting you know? to die. Yeah, yeah. You, have you, no, get, yeah, you, no you don't meaning. know where you're going. Yeah. You have nothing. The, yeah. But that's why always when you are close to your God, alhamdulillah, something. Alhamdulillah. Do your job. And after that. Mashallah, you do yeah. your, yeah. Very nice. So in the zoo, yeah. so I we're bouncing from topics to topics, but yeah. you know, there's so much we, yeah. we didn't talk about. Also, we didn't see each other for a long yeah. time. Let's say for the zoo, do you know how much it costs to maintain the zoo with all its facilities and all its different uh, food and everything per month? And again, if you don't want to say it, we can move on. See, honestly, open check. Open check. For the zoo. Because I deal with the animals like I'm doing, uh, giving like some kind of sadaqah. Charity. Yeah, charity for the, but that's why I'm happy to do that. Around, but I'm like saying better than I spend my money in something else outside. Now I'm spending in the something which is made protecting by God. God's yeah, protecting God's creatures. But that's why, yeah, exactly. But that's what I am happy to do that. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, uh, the farm, when I made the, the, the farm, I didn't do it for the people, honestly, or for the, uh, the 
for the I mean the famous people to come or no I did it for myself and for my family this is how I started with that I remember who's come Salman Khan it's come to the, the farm and so he enjoyed it took Talk twice about how was the experience yeah with Salman Khan I remember Meeting twice him. he came twice he came one time he came with his uh, father with his uh, wow. mother auntie and full family, uh, full, full family. I think around uh, 55, 60 people wow. they, they was there and he enjoyed and how is him as a person nice guy he is Salman is asked he is, he is, he is the best he's Honestly, like your friend he is the best huh? he's like your friend now Alhamdulillah he's still, he's always he will be my friend is uh, my brother whatever maybe I'm not seeing him now from long time because of the corona but always uh, he's, he's a nice person he's a nice human being really but yeah? that's why yeah. Yeah, he's nice uh, respectful everything yeah, of kind. course yeah, yeah. Nice. he respect the people he love the people he support what I'm doing supporting the poor he is supporting full nice. the poor it's rare people. to find yeah. these people he, he is happy when he is helping them nice. that's why uh, he, twice he came and uh, after that Bogba he came I remember by chance we was in the Palm Jumeir I was staying in the villa and we was in the mosque I saw him and uh, I invite him if you like to come to the to see the animals, so no of course way. I love. You met Paul Pogba in the mosque. In the mosque, in the uh, in the Palm Jumeirah mosque, wow. with Kandora and uh, Kabina. No yeah, but he said yes. I, I don't mind to come in the evening. He came and he put some yeah. video also. And with that, one, who was the craziest? Like who was the nicest person you met, or like who were you the most excited for? Can you talk everyone, about anyone? Every honestly, uh, a lot of people I met. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, everybody is nice. is, who everybody is nice. Nobody when they come nice. to safe, all they are nice. Yeah, because I guess because it's they you. are coming to my house, <laughs> they, they cannot. You. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they are outside, yeah. out. But, but for you, they're all nice. Yeah. When they are coming to my farm, they know they are coming to my house. Yeah. But of course, they will be of nice course. and, and fair, they're grateful. Um, yeah, yeah. And they are uh, honestly a lot of people. I saw. Yeah. Uh, you don't getting... blame. Uh, you see, you don't uh, blame them when they are out. They are different. Because you see the people how much they are troubling them out. Yeah. But he's going with his family. Of course, he's, he, he's I mean, uh, course, troubling yeah. him with the picture, of course. Yeah, I understand. Mm. That makes sense. But I'd probably say it's around like seven figures, just the upkeep of the thing per month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something crazy. I'm spending a million and million for the farm, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'm spending crazy, million. man. Per month, man. So because, anyways. see, if you are, uh, I will tell you something. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeding the, the meat to my, uh, to my all the, whatever the, the wild animal uh, around how much 250 uh, tons uh, no tons uh, kilos every day 250 kilos yeah. every day of every meat. day your lions and tigers and exactly all but that's why that's how how much wow yeah. but that's why this is only just where do you meat. get all this meat from i'm buying i'm buying the best for the my animals I'm the buying the best. I feed quality. them the best. You will never, <laughs> always. I have a guest when they see it to look to the animal. So, I love you. I mean, all they are in the shape. Sometimes they are feeding them, they don't want because all these full. They, I tell them they are never be, uh, I mean, they never nice. see them it's hungry. Nice. Yeah. Well, I love, but I love when I go there and the experience, and you can tell, like, you know, when I see you there, like, it brings you happiness, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you're doing something that's so good, you know? It's also good for Dubai, you know, you're making the celebrities which come to Dubai have like, feel like they have a good time here. So you're just benefiting God, like you're, you're just, you're doing good, you know what I mean? See, so, Alhamdulillah, what I'm saying, I, I put uh, uh, the fame park in the map of UAE. Yeah. Anyone of the, the, the act, they have to visit, like, and they are, yani, this two player, they came, he said from Senegal, he said, I never, first time for me, and I came for two, two nights, and today I'm here. But this experience I will never forget in my of life. Course, yeah. And I'm flying tomorrow. He said, they told me that there is a desert safari, but I don't have a chance. I said, no, I want to be with the animals better. But that's why, you I mean, get this opportunity yeah, yeah. Else. but that's why, and before the people, they come to the farm, I'm already, uh, I have a list, they're contacting me in my uh, Instagram. Yeah, the that, people are, please. celebrities are asking yeah. Mr. Safe, yeah. Paris Hilton, yeah. like, Jenner's all and of them, the, all of Cardi them. Yeah, B. Yeah. yeah, I have alhamdulillah good, nice relation with them. They are, as yeah. I told you, they are good people, and uh, they want when they come. As example, they come first alone. After that, he's coming with his wife. 
Third time he's coming with his girlfriend. <laughs> But that's why I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why it's happened <laughs> with, with some different and, guests. Yes, and you yeah. can't say anything, huh? No, I said, okay. I told the photographer, please don't take picture of her. For her. Yeah. But, I mean, how but, is Messi? I mean, Lino Messi. Messi is very good. Nice. He is yeah. very, very he nice. He speaks good guy. English? No, or no, not English. So much, no. Yeah? no. I was, I remember when he was there, he was working with his wife and I was chatting with his wife. Okay. She's nice. She's speaking. She is, yeah, mm-hmm. and she was nice. And uh, I remember it happened some thing. We was passing through uh, Armani, which is the Shambanzi, and in the same time he the Shambanzi took sand and he I threw it. it. And uh, Messi, he was laughing in in hair, and she's with a full makeup. But all of them after that, they But he was, was having like, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got fun. He I mean, didn't they, get the, any. No, activity. no, no. They enjoying nice, a lot nice. of people. So another question: Do you yeah. ever wake up one day? And just feel like, man, today I just don't feel like working. Never. <laughs> Not one day Never. in your life. Never. Not even and like your when birthday. I, when there is a holiday, more holiday your in birthday? Dubai, I don't like it. You don't like holidays. Yeah. <laughs> What well, about your birthday? You're in, there in the office. My birthday, no, in the office, normal. <laughs> normal. Yeah, no, I don't have this all. I mean, my birthday at night will sit celebrated, and Smoky. my birthday on the first January, uh, normally ah, is holiday. Yours, yeah. It's holiday. I mean, that's why. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Um, What do you think are the three most important habits for someone to be successful in their life? Respect the time. Timing. Mm-hmm. Respect the people. Respect people. And uh, be honest with yourself before you be honest with the, 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 your manager. Be true to yourself. Totally, exactly. Yeah, nice. Amazing. Uh, I think that's really good, especially mm-hmm. the last one. You know, people don't say that that much, but like mm-hmm. just sometimes... People, some people, they lie to themselves. Mm. Like, for example, let's say they're smoking. Mm. They say, I'm not addicted to this mm. cigarette. I can stop anytime. Mm. They lie to themselves yeah, again yeah. and again. They say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not um, lazy. I'm just, just a bit like tired these days. I'm sick. I'm this. So they're not honest with themselves. So then they can never improve. Mm. If you don't know where you See, see you can be, for uh, example, the, uh, in the life, you can be a normal person. You can be a normal person and you be something. Always I'm saying I don't want to be normal person. I want to be unique. unique. I want to be something different. If they put me in, in my graveyard, meaning the people, they have to know. This is which we lost is Sebel. So this is Hak. You can be that's normal person. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I always say, no, be something in your life. The people, they will respect you. They will remember you. Not only just in money, in everything. Mm. But that's what. Amazing. Uh, what's a good piece of advice that somebody gave you? Maybe your dad or maybe someone in your life. What's a good piece of advice you heard? Uh, don't do everything for yourself. Do something for the people. Mm. But this is don't forget the people. Because wherever, where you are, there is a lot of people also. They are uh, sitting without house, without food, without, without. Yeah. But do always something for the people. Mm. Yani, but without announcing and tell the people, as we think, People uh, giving uh, sadaqah and social media taking pictures, yourself, give yeah. them food to the people and video. That's wrong. There is sadaqah, meaning if I do something in my right, the my left have know. to not know it. Sah. But the people, they feel uh, True. they will do that. The people, they will tell you. No. I mean, yeah. That's very wrong thing. Crazy. Um, how do you take care of your mental health? Do you do anything particular or do you feel like it's maybe no, just it's, a prayer? It's, it's, See, always, I mean, uh, with the, the uh, see, I don't make much of exercise, honestly. Okay. I take care of my health. Yeah. Very you important. You eat safe, healthy, and, yeah. and you walk a lot when you're day to day. Yeah, of course. Uh, this walk, you know, they saying this walk is nothing, it's relaxing. <laughs> But I see yeah. you, I remember the last time I yeah. saw you in the Blancet Driving Center, you took the steps, and I remembered that. I yeah, like, yeah. He takes the steps. yeah, I never used the uh, elevator. Yeah. That's happened from the Corona time. Ah, okay. And I said I would I not stop, that. yeah, from Corona time. But that's why always, I mean, uh, wherever you walk, you have to walk. I yeah. have cycling. Nice. Using the cycle and uh, But uh, what about the walk. mental health? Uh, Sometimes, you know, I do that when I travel, mm. honestly. Uh, I need to see green. Mm. and Nature. The nature. Or see and relax. And go sometime to the Maldives. Yeah. Uh, Sometime if I am in Europe, uh, like in uh, all my house, which is out of station, is... Uh, In lake, but yeah. that's why it's make me happy. Yeah. But my relaxing time is yeah. honestly. And uh, that's when I'm, so good, you know, uh, guys. A lot of people they live a life of escapism. You know, 
um, they, they do certain things in their life, let's say drugs or smoking or drinking and this, and they need something to distract them mentally. Mentally, they're not happy with where they are. Their goal is to be like Mr. Safe, and he built a life for himself where he never wants to escape from it. So, for example, like the life you live, like when you can afford to go on these nice trips, private jet, and you go to nice places, let's say Zurich and, you know, Geneva. So I know you guys, you have your, your holiday house there, your holiday mansion there. And, mm-hmm. you know, you've built for yourself a life you don't need to escape from. You don't need any drugs. You don't need anything to escape because the life you lived, it's, it's good. But people want to uh, live a boring life and then they do uh, extra stuff to make them escape mentally, you know? Well, that's wrong. And I know you never smoked. You never, yeah. And, you know, yeah, I, I heard you never drank. And I heard one funny, funny story. What's that? So I heard that you once went to dinner with uh, Logan Paul. I think in uh, Nusret, the Salt Bay restaurant. Yeah. And you paid for the full meal except the alcohol. You said, I This is my way. Yeah, I don't pay for alcohol. No. Never. <laughs> never, yeah. My religion telling me of that. Course. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you, course, yeah. he goes to, guys, this is insane. He goes to dinner with the most highest of profiles and he'll pay the whole bill, all the steaks, all the, uh, you know, everything else, but the alcohol. It's, it's on you. you see, the it. people, they respect you more. Of anyway. course. You have to have uh, your See, principles. honestly, I respect you more. Uh, yeah. I remember that's uh, in some part of my uh, time of my life. Uh, when I was working with my father, I was traveling to uh, China. Yeah. A business. And uh, I am one of the people, which is first one of the people they're traveling from Middle East yeah. to China. But I was going there. Th- one week, I'm in Dubai. And three weeks, I'm in China. For that's wow. went I think for three to four years. Wow! But I remember wow. I was signing contract and uh, they said we have to celebrate. I said okay, that's I said that's musiba. I mean for me, I know okay we'll go for the dinner ta ta and after that everyone you will take the alcohol to drink they want. I said Cheers. I take my water necessary, but believe me they respect me more. Of course. They respect me more because, because yeah exactly. If, uh, they they will never know. They respect you when you do something and you believe of what you are doing yeah. uh, i said i told him i'm happy yeah the people they sometimes people they are drinking to be happy yeah. i'm happy without it <laughs> why i will drink and i will spoil my mind and after that i will i mean i'll be You're good. funny guy no yeah. I, I respect i'm enjoying that yeah um, even the people they think the smoking that relieves the stress but it's not true no. the smoking only relieves the stress like it gave you in the first place like when you're not without the smoke and you feel like addiction it's because it gave you the addiction to relieve in the first place but if you're normal you're normal you're happy you know see in my life i never tried it no. i mix with a different people yeah uh, i travel uh, everywhere okay but i never touch yeah. it I never touch the smoke. I never drink. I don't know. As a Muslim, yeah. I, I feel as a clean Muslim. And I get fun. I enjoy and I'm happy. And, and the people, they look at you. I have nice well. family and yeah. everything we're doing. And example for my family. That's why everyone is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, are you invested or interested in cryptocurrency? I don't believe much in it. Maybe I am wrong. Okay, but this is a long time. But now, when I see the uh, what's happened, you uh, feel like you're yeah, right. Yeah, I said, Alhamdulillah, I am not. I brought some of fuck, but with the I remember Estonia, uh, Estonia they have something like that. Okay. I brought with them. I put some money there, but I didn't lose it. You didn't lose. Yeah, it. No, yeah. I didn't lose it. <laughs> but what's happening here? I mean, crazy. D- 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 destroy uh, life of the people. I yeah. can say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I guess for you, you're more into traditional, old school, real businesses. So, no, you know, no, not this? not old school. Not old not school. Not old school, yeah. but you know what I mean? But like traditional. Yeah. Real yeah. physical businesses. Exactly, brick yeah. and mortar. What I believe in, yeah. you have to believe in something. But physical. something I, is not in my hand. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because, okay, you, it have to be support to something, support yeah, yeah. with a gold. If there is no gold, there is no nothing. What, how are you supporting this? Uh, yeah, what's, what's it backed by? But, yeah. but you know, the yeah. argument that people say is like, it, what, like the dollars, yeah? Before it used to be pegged to gold, but then yeah. now it's not pegged by anything. It's, yeah. it's, and anytime, yeah. honestly, I put my hand in my heart. Anytime it can happen. Yeah. It happened. We are in big shit. <laughs> like I said. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it can the, happen. The dollar is happen, the dollar yeah, is not yeah, backed. Yeah, yeah, would not support and without any. Uh, no, yeah, and now yeah, and they're will. printing it like crazy. Yeah, yeah. It and will happen, and but, that it will happen one day. Yeah, but it will destroy life of everyone. Honestly, it's sad. Yeah, except but, the people which they have gold. This is the people who they will have. Nice. And that's why I said always the people they have to invest keep in gold. gold. Yeah, invest in gold. Nice. That will continue with us, but. Anything not else, fiat no, currencies no, no, and this no. and that. This piece of paper yeah. will be nothing. And we saw it. Wow. In this, uh, we saw it in 
everywhere I mean wherever Egypt yeah. Iraq Iran Syria everywhere name Lebanon. other country Lebanon everywhere uh, that's uh, yeah. nothing nice damn that's crazy and this is like one of the first like people who I'm saying like okay generational traditional billionaire you know like and he's even like knows the fact that this kind of like print piece like he said it's just a piece of paper you know because people are talking about it now finally but it's all a new concept for them you know right so a lot of people don't know this you know they they worship this piece of paper you know so um how would you advise someone who has no money that wants to start a business right now or like let's say wants to be successful what advice would you give them I mean, because you started from zero. Yeah. So what would you say for someone else? See, I start from zero because I have experience. Yeah. But that's why I don't advise a person to go start business without experience, without uh, uh, he's sure about the business which he have, and take that risk. Mm. No, he will be, and it's happened honestly to the some of our staff or management. They left the group. They said opportunity is there, and I want to start my own business. Yeah. After some time, he's coming. Said please. Can you take a business from me? Can you, uh, I will sell the business to you. Can you do anything? Okay. Because I feel I will lose everything. For this has happened. For that's why the person you have not to take the risk unless you have to know your business. Yeah. You have to love Research. the business which you are start, uh, you're going to start with. Not something because that guy, he did well. I will do the same thing. No. Uh, that's to work with that guy or you're a friend and he becomes something. But with you, it cannot work. Maybe. But don't take that risk. Mm, nice amazing all right um how is it meeting andrew tate he's a very nice person yeah, yeah right very, I, um, I had him here on the podcast um, yeah. generous uh yeah. polite yeah. kind shakes your hand very nice person yeah very very nice person uh before i don't know him uh but uh after i saw him i start to see his video I like his video always. He's yeah. very honest, very straight, direct. Yeah. And he say what he feel is right. He will say it's right. Mm. And most of what he's saying is right. Yeah. I can. Uh, I uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm enjoying. I, I saw agree. the interview which you did with him. Is is a nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nice. <laughs> yeah, he's a very nice guy and very polite. And people don't realize. Like. And I'm happy. Also, he become Muslim. Yeah. That's why Muslim. he. I mean, uh, if he work hard, honestly. He, he he will be the best guy in in in, in the world because uh, a lot of people they are uh, they believe in him mm. and if he try to uh, take these people to the islam. Uh, to the islam i mean he won everything he won uh, everything yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah yeah but, i mean i mean i'm happy he's a, i was not believe he become muslim but when i saw he's uh, praying after uh, mr khan uh, i was very happy Nice. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. What about um, Floyd Mayweather? He's a nice person. He yeah. loves us always come to our farm. He's a very nice person. Very yeah. humble, very, very really? nice. Really? Yeah, yeah. Man, to be honest, like I like him a lot, but <laughs> my experience with him was a bit funny. <laughs> but he, I think because for him, he has a lot of, um, like, he built his brand in people who hate him, you know? Like, he likes to have haters, you know? Mm. Because they buy his fight to watch him lose. So, he likes to make haters. Okay. So, he tries to be, like, you know, arrogant and... not see, arrogant. See, see, we see different person or different people in the world. I mean, everyone, he have his own way. Yeah. We believe in... Uh, we, we have to take the good thing from them and the bad thing, leave it for them. Mm. That's uh, not more than nice. that. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll wrap this up. Mr. Safe. Okay, you, you want something more? I will give you something because yeah, sure. sometimes the people, they don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, see, nice. uh, as I told you about all what I'm doing, the yeah. groups, only just that to encourage the people. How much project they have, how much companies they have, how much I'm traveling, how much I have business, but in the same time, I'm studying uh, my uh, BHD. Ah, yes. More than uh, now, I will finish, inshallah, five years, and I will... Uh, uh, I finished already the BHD. The, you have your the, doctor now. Uh, yeah, yes, but only just I have actually. to uh, submit my book. Nice. Uh, in front of the the the. Yeah, your thesis. Uh, yeah. You have yeah, to write exactly. the wrong. Yeah, thing, yeah. already uh, in the final. Uh, I will finish it inshallah in this month. Nice. Maybe for February inshallah my Masha final Allah. there. But that's why uh, whatever we have, whatever pro uh, project we have, whatever pressure we have. But still, we have to find the time for ourselves. To learn. But that's why you're saying where you go sometime and thinking when you have trust, this is take me. I mean, how much I have? But I said, this is also is good for me to make me more busy. Uh, uh, well, how do you manage your time with all this stuff? Being a, Getting a PhD and getting every celebrity to your house twice a day and working 
10 hours and 50,000, 50 businesses, 70 businesses and 10,000 staff. Like, how do you manage all that time? Alhamdulillah, that God. Help, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. But that's why, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that because uh, you have to believe in yourself. How many calls do you get a day? Do you know? Like, I bet it's crazy, your phone, because of how many. Yeah, uh, but I don't answer the phone, honestly. Yeah. I answer only just the phone, which is, uh, I have a business with them, okay. uh, about friend, which is close to me, uh, family. Do you have many friends? Because I feel like with this amount of life, I don't know uh, how you feel. I have friends. I have friends. But uh, always, they are busy. We are busy. Sometimes we meet. Hmm. Sometimes outside. Like how I mean, often? Yeah. Like once a week maybe? Or like once no, a month? No, no, no. Honestly, no, no. Once a month? No. Because see, uh, uh, at the moment with the, uh, the fame park, uh, they have become all they are my family. Or my friend, we can say. Yeah. Uh, I'm, the staff? I'm, or the no, no, no. I'm talking about the, the, talking about the, the fame guest. park. Yeah. yeah. The guest, every day if I have a new friend. So it's like But that's friends. why, yeah. yeah. But sometimes the, the old friend, uh, yani, yani, as example, yesterday I so saw one of the old friends, which is we stay together, which is Muhammad Al Gargawi, nice. is the, the minister. Well, yeah. But nice, yeah. maybe more than two years, I think uh, I didn't see him. Wow. Yeah. But it's nice. I yeah. him but I think your friends are like you. They're all like want to be, want to work, and want yeah, to be yeah. successful. They don't have time also like you. They're honestly, also busy. honestly, the, we are a group. You surround yourself from the high, high school. Yeah. We are together. In that time, we uh, now we are. I think I don't want to say we are the best, but I think all our the, group, all most business. of them, they are uh, big, big business. And man. yeah, exactly. But we are before patrol. But that's why they're different. Yeah. But we are something in in, 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 in our life in Dubai. A rare and breed. Yeah, yeah. A rare breed. Yeah, yeah. A small group that just dominated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's why all yeah. respective mm -hmm. fields. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, amazing. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. You're most welcome. Most uh, welcome is there so. any question that you feel like maybe I should have asked you and I didn't? No, I think you asked. We asked well, pretty yeah. much. I mean, we you don't go to the question. You went, I mean, we talk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, just yeah, like this. Yeah. But no worries. Inshallah, they will, it'll be good to keep yeah. them on their feet. <laughs> Inshallah. I hope I covered 10. Yeah, no, no. You did right. great. Amazing. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time. I really My appreciate pleasure. it, guys. My thank pleasure. you so much for watching this episode. If you want to find more about Saif Balhasa, his link will be in the description a fame park, his businesses, his Instagram. Go check him out. Um, he's amassed over 3 million followers. That's another thing, actually. You know how to build a personal brand. A lot of people, they don't know how to build this. They only care about their business and they don't build a personal brand. But here you are, you're outside, people are taking photos with you. You're a celebrity, you know? And you didn't even want it. You didn't even mean it to become, but just... No, no, I'm not. I'm, alhamdulillah. I'm mo most... Building your I know, yeah, I'm, also, I'm known as a small business person, but yeah. uh, it's happened, Nani. All right. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.